Hello, 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 everybody here is Dr. Gowayal again talking about different topics on soil. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hmr.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue and by topic. You will be asking Dr. Gowayal which topics, research, community, education, care, there will be the hours and achievement. The article to review today is the good that viruses do. The good that viruses do. The surprising and beneficial contribution that viruses bring to life. In Paris in 1917, hospitalized soldiers were dying from dysentery as Chigella bacteria overwhelmed their guts. Nothing could be done for them. Antibiotics couldn't be discovered for another decade. Experimenting with Chigella culture from the ill, microbiologists felt its health and covered a difference between samples from patients who survived and those who succumbed in survival and the entity too small to be seen through his microscope was killing them. Bacteria. He called the attackers bacteriophages or bacteria eaters. Dr. Health recognized that the mystery facts offer a way to fight bacterial infection. In 1919, he isolated facts from salmonella bacteria that were causing a typhoid outbreak in chickens and used them to cut a bird. A few months later, he thought he couldn't risk treating a boy with a dire case of dysentery. First, however, Dr. Hell and his team drank a conclusion that face they isolate from another dysentery patient. When no one felt that worse of where they gave it to the boy. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to let you know, guys, that the article that we are doing the review today is the good that viruses do. Alright, so I continue doing straight away this review. Although some 200 kinds of viruses are now to infect, seeking or kill us, as the emergency of SARS-CoV-2 has most recently hammered home. That's only one part of the picture. Viruses also keep us alive. They for part of the body's microbiome and safeguard our health. They can be armed and three illness, deliver vaccines and diagnose infections. They were will as research tool to illuminate biology and disease and develop new drugs. We can thanks to the snippets of viral genomes incorporated into the DNA tens of millions of years ago for how our reproductive and nervous system work. We have these amazing approved therapies, yet we are just scratching the surface of what viruses can do to modify and treat diseases. Protovirus components likely even contribute to the emergency of life on Earth and viruses continue to drive evolution today. They form a crucial part of the global ecosystem that allows us to survive. We can generalize viruses as being harmful, says Mohammad Sharif. He is a PhD who led the development as an experimental gene therapy that used modified viruses components. Despite the devastating effects of viruses, diseases, the viruses that count most in our life are crucial, not in disease, but in health and in all aspects of life, says Eugene Conan, an expert on the genetics of evolution and viruses at the National Institute of Health National Center for Biotechnology Information.
while scientists and physicians across the Harvard Medical School community study ways to combat the viruses that plug us or their colleagues are uncovering and exploring viruses potential for good. Some like Connie Seppo, the Pular Professor of Genetics and Neuroscience in Blavani Institute at Harvard Medical School to both. We love viruses for all our work, says Seppo. Her laboratory members have decided viruses by stool to map circuits in the brain, prolonged vision in mouse model of head and heritage, blindness, and tests for SARS-CoV-2. Viruses are useful in tons of ways in research and the clinic, agrees Timothy. She is a medical doctor associate professor of biological engineering and electrical engineering and computer science at NEED and CEO at Senti Bioscience. We have these amazing approved therapies, yet we are just scratching the surface of what viruses can do to modify and treat diseases. Strangely, the idea of fetches as treatment has never overcome initial skepticism. Outside of areas such as Eastern Europe, the medical community discarded them when antibiotics emerged mid-century. Today, however, fetch-based therapies are gaining traction. That's partly because patients kill bacteria in a different way from antibiotics, offering a potential lifeline as antibiotic resistance plays a role in the death of 5 million people each year worldwide. Faces also offer pinpoint targeting since most faces evolved to infect one or a few strains of bacteria or arcade, identifying the bacteria causing a patient illness and fighting a face that kills it would wipe out the troublemaker and leave beneficial bacteria harming. In the past few years, doctors operating under compassionate use allowance as have saved a small number of people from life-treating bacterial infections that defy all other treatments. The number of fascist therapy clinical trials is taking upward. In 2021, the United States Food Drug Administration and the National Institute of Allergy and Infection Diseases award 2.5 million in grants to groups developing fetch-based therapies. As an MD PhD student, Grady toward face engineering after learning about the problem of antibiotic resistance. I thought it was crazy, we didn't have a solution, he recalls. In advisor James Collins Laboratory at Boston University got really intrigued by face. They had his way while of being an old technology but with whole new tool set. Collins and Yu showed that fetches can break up biofilms, stood board webs of bacteria and extracellular matrix that immune cells and antibiotics have difficulty penetration, modifying the fetches to deliver germs into bacteria to enhance the activity of antibiotics and adding enzymes from other patients that chew up. Biofilm matrices produce even better results. Harking back to Harold in 2019, Luke and Collins at Massachusetts General Hospital build an instantine organ and show how the face they isolate from Chigella vanquish infection. Face potential is vast, but finding the right ones isn't easy.
Another group of researchers is interested in viruses that infect humans without causing disease and then fend off more dangerous viruses and bacteria. GV virus C, an asymptomatic blood-borne virus, a slow progression to AIDS in people with HIV and lowers the risk that infection with Ebola virus will prove deadly. Most studies suggest that certain innocuous herpes viruses that cytomegalovirus prevent infection by Listeria and Yersinia pestis, which cause bubonic plaque. Even harmful virus can harbor disease conveying strategies for scientists to adapt. The hepatitis, a virus A, can protect against hepatitis C, and research have used lymphoma associated virus to cure type 1 diabetes in mice. Proponents landmill the human virus A remain underexplored as infection virus. Medicine may benefit from taking mutualist viruses more seriously. Read 2011 article in Nature Review Microbiology titled The Good Viruses. Alright guys, remember to subscribe to Harvard Medicine Magazine. It's gonna be awesome for you to be able to subscribe thousands of thousands of articles to review, to learn, not only for medical society, it's also for all the humanity in the world. The only oncology virus approved in the United States called TBE earned by the Food Drug Administration Clearance in 2015. It is a modified herpes virus injected into late stage melanomas in the skin and lymph nodes. Dozens of other candidates are being tested for treatments in numerous cancers. They may work in tandem with conventional treatments or when combined with advanced immunotherapies such as checkpoint inhibitors. The main challenge research say by stopping the immune system from destroying the virus before they do their work. Alright guys, remember you will be able to download this beautiful article is the good that viruses do. It's pretty long but this is a, actually an, a good view of about and this article has been wrote by Andrew Dachin. He is a manager of visual content and multimedia in Harvard Medical School Office of Communications and External Relations. See you next time. Bye bye.